Hello, welcome to Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to learn how to subtract mixed fractions. We've learned a great deal about how to subtract fractions so far, and in the previous lessons we've also learned a great deal about how to add fractions and how to add mixed numbers together. So for instance, in the previous lessons I told you, hey, you can add 2 and a half plus 3 and 1 fourth. And I actually showed you two ways to add those things together. And the first way was, hey, you just add the whole numbers together, and then add the fractions together, and then you can, you can combine the answer. There you go. All right, so let's try to subtract two fractions together using that approach, and let's see what happens. And I think I'll show you an easier way to do these guys when you're subtracting mixed numbers. What if you have a three and a fourth, and you're subtracting from that two and three fourths? All right, now, if I try to do this the way that we, I showed you that you could add these things together. Now, if this was an addition, I would say 3 plus 2 is 5, and you add these guys together, you get 4 over 4, which is another one, another one, and so you would get altogether 6 when you add these together, uh, using the, way, the first way that we talked about. Now, if you try to apply this to subtraction, 3 minus 2 is 1, right? And then you try to subtract the fractions. You have 1 fourth minus 3 fourths. All right, now you have an immediate problem here. Because you do have a common denominator, that's cool. But then 1 minus 3, how do you handle 1 minus 3? All right? That's not something that's very easy to handle uh, here. So this, you run into problems here. Now clearly 3 and a fourth is bigger than 2 and a third. So you certainly can subtract them. But because sometimes the top fraction is going to have a smaller numerator um, than the denominator, you're, you're not sure what to do sometimes when you end up subtracting these things. I could show you a method to do it this way, I could show you how to handle it, but honestly there's just a much easier way to subtract mixed numbers. And it's something that we've kind of already learned. The second way I told you to deal with mixed numbers is just convert them both to improper fractions and then subtract or add them. Uh, in this case I'm going to tell you that's much, much easier. So, don't try to do this. Whenever you're subtracting mixed numbers like that, just don't try to subtract the whole numbers and then subtract the fractions. It just can lead to problems sometimes, depending on what your exact fractions really are. And so instead of showing you how to deal with this and confusing you, I'm going to show you the much, 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 much simpler way to handle it. So let's do this problem again. Let's say we have 3 and a fourth, and we're subtracting 2 and 3 fourths. All right. Now, what we're going to do is convert both of these fractions to improper fractions. That was method number two when we were learning how to add these things. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 gives me 13. And we always write it over 4 over the same denominator. This one, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is going to be 11. So you have 11 fourths. All right. And now you simply subtract them. Notice now we have a, already a common denominator in this case which is 4. So we'll keep the 4 in the answer. All right, and then we'll have a 13 minus 11, which will give us 2 fourths. So we could circle that, but then we realize, hey, we can simplify this. We can divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. And what we will get, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. The answer is 1 half. That is the answer. Now, notice how simple that was and how bulletproof that was. We just changed these to improper fractions, right? then subtract them, and then simplify, and you'll never run into any confusion. There is a way I could show you to handle doing it this way. I could, I could take time and show you that. But to be honest with you, it's not worth it because this is much easier when you're subtracting mixed numbers. So I'd like for you to get in the habit of when you subtract mixed